Hello, hello. Welcome back to our channel. So today, it's not about Dre or DJ. So we will have a parenting tip for today. We're going to learn what parents can do to get their kids to listen to them. Okay, so the first one should be to connect with kids. If your children don't respond to what you say, don't yell at them from across the room. Instead, kneel to your children's level and lightly touch them. Then say something about what they are looking at, such as, Wow, look at that big dog. This will help you connect with your children and make it easier for them to listen to you. Yes, connect before you direct, before giving your child's directions. Squat to your child's eye level and engage your child in eye-to-eye -eye contact to get his attention. Teach him how to focus. So you will say, Dre, I need your eyes. Dre, I need your ears. So offer the same body language when listening to the child. Be sure not to make your eye contact so intense that your child perceives it as controlling rather than connecting. Yes. All right, so next, don't repeat yourself. Often parents say the words, I'm not going to repeat myself again, just before repeating themselves once more. However, if you've asked your children to do something once and they don't respond, don't just repeat yourself. It's better to wait until you have your children's full attention rather than saying something again and again. Address the child Open your request with the child's name. Dre, will you please do this? Or Dre, will you please sit down? All right, and next, use fewer words. Oh, you will likely lose your child's attention if you try to explain things with too many words. When giving instructions and other commands, remember that kids like things explained to them in simple ways. Otherwise, it's likely that they won't listen. So use as few words as possible when giving instructions and commands. Yes, stay simple when you talk to kids. Use short sentences with one syllable words. Listen to how kids communicate with each other and take note. When your child shows that glazed, disinterested look, you are no longer being understood. Next, this will be our number four. Put yourself in their shoes. Hmm? Okay, what does it mean? Put yourself in their shoes. What would you do if your friend commanded you to stop doing something you were enjoying? For most of us, we'd probably ignore him or her. Therefore, parents should try to understand their children's way of looking at and understanding things when telling them to do a chore. Kids will be more likely to listen to their parents if they feel their parents are also listening and trying to understand them. So talk the, the child down. Sometimes just having a caring listener available will wind down the tantrum. If you come in at his level, you have two tantrums to deal with. So be the adult for your child. So the last one, tip number five, create routines all right kids often stop listening whenever they feel like their parents are constantly nagging them to do things however you won't have to be the bad guy anymore if you create some routines these routines might include brushing their teeth packing their backpack cleaning their room etc the more tasks they complete on their own the more likely it is they will answer their parents questions Yes. All right. So why routines are important for children? Routines give children a sense of security and stability. Routines help children feel safe and secure in their environment. Yes. So routines can also help children become more trusting of you as a caretaker if their routines are effective and they feel comfortable in the environment. Everyday routines can be used as teachable moments. Everyday routines are full of learning opportunities for young children. 
For example, you can start teaching children the importance of washing their hands before eating or the importance of brushing their teeth. You can also use these everyday routines as opportunities to talk with young children and help them develop their communication skills. So that's it for today, our parenting tip. Good luck, everyone.